It's like, it's like I'm on the beach. Yo, people had commented uh, on my last, on my skincare video talking about SPF, you know, and like, truthfully, I don't use a lot of SPF. Like sometimes, like if I know I'm gonna be in some for a lot, like, a long time, or a lot of time, then I'll use an SPF. But for the most part, my skin is fine. I, I'm black, I think, honestly, I, I'm, this is probably coming from an ignorant place, but like I'm black and I feel like my skin was made to be in the sun and like, my skin does well. I get darker sometimes and like it looks really good. Like I am good in the sun. I don't really use a lot of SPF. I don't feel like I need it. Maybe later on I'll have a bunch of wrinkles and I'm wrong. But for me, I have found like SPF just like sits on my face and I can feel it on my face and it's heavy. And like, it's just, I don't use a lot of it. where the sun is hitting on you so for instance the sun is right there right can you guys see the sun so the sun is right there if i'm right here the sun is hitting me so i'm well lit you know what i'm saying like god you can see me clearly but if i'm over here that's why i'm in the shade because the sun isn't hitting me but like there's a thing up there so like it's coming through so you can see pieces so when you go to get get photos like of your friends and things like that make sure that like, just look and see where, like, the sun is shining down and make sure you're standing across from it so you can get your mic. Nobody gonna All right, I'm hesitant to use the mic because I feel like the mic be fucking up, but <laughs> I'm going to use the mic. No, Sin Clark, I love you, bro. Handsome, and he cooks. Hey. Uh, somebody just asked me, which phone are you using? Like, basically, what am I using to shoot the vlogs? Uh, so this, I have, I have two phones, and one of them is an iPhone XR, and then the other one, the phone XS Max. But then I also use a Sony A5100 camera and I like it because it has this little thing here so that I can see myself when I'm recording or whatever. Yeah, so that's the equipment that I use. The iPhones honestly are my favorite because it's just like I can have them anywhere and I can always get footage whereas I don't always like carrying that camera to vlog with. Um, but the iPhones, like I can always pull it and then I have this little tripod here. So I have this and there's like a remote that goes with it. So then that helps. And then it's like when I want to have like a shot in the apartment, then I have this tripod. I did the first day back on set. Can you hold the mic video? And I talked about, I said, I said the word bottom and then I, then I was just like, though, did you guys know that bottoms are 13 times more likely to catch HIV than the top? And I didn't know that, but that was a fact from the CDC. Like that's a fact. Um, so I said that in the video. So then someone commented like, based on the statistics you provided, are you more likely to catch HIV than your partner? Slick way of asking, are you a top or bottom? I know you want to answer, figure it out, ask anyway. I've actually talked about it in the videos that like I'm verse, like I like both. I feel like everyone should be fluid. It shouldn't be these rows of top and bottom because it just, there's just too much fragile masculinity attached to that. And it's just like, both both partners should be able to express their femininity and their masculinity you know what i'm saying and just flow freely in sex and it's like it's good you know you when you don't have these hang-ups about like oh i'm a top or oh, i'm a bottom but to each his own like some people are more feminine and they do just want that and some people are more masculine and they do just want to be a top so it's just like everyone is different and you shouldn't be judging people based on their sexual position so yes i like both Okay, in hindsight, like this is just me talking personally. Like I just, like I said, for me personally, I like a fluid situation, but it also just depends on your personal body type. Maybe you don't have, you know, a bigger penis or, you know, like who knows your situation where you don't want to do both sides, you know? Uh, for me physically, I like both, but um, 
Yeah, and also I, I just said something about you know maybe you are more feminine, more masculine. And it doesn't mean that just because you're bottom, like that you're feminine, you're a bitch. Um, but I think I'm just speaking about that those r roles of male and female. You know, that's the whole the top, the bottom. Because when people ask you that question, it's like, oh, who's the man? Who's the man in a relationship? And it's like, yo, we're both men. You know what I'm saying? We're both men. We're both equals. Like. I'm not the bitch because I'm on bottom or I'm not the man just because I'm on top. Like, we're both people who respect each other, you know? All right, so my ex, is that a tattoo on your wrist? If you don't mind telling what it is. See, I only have one tattoo and it's on my wrist. It's it's really bad. Like, okay, let me tell you the story first. So I was living in Cape Town. It was my first trip in Cape Town in 2015. I was there for three months and I booked a job for a commercial that was shooting in Lebanon. But yeah, it was shooting in Beirut, Lebanon. And I ended up being there for three days. And I was just like, yo, like I'll never, well, for me, I just feel like I'll never, I, I'm like, I'll probably never be here again. You know what I'm saying? And I hadn't gotten a tattoo yet. I was like, I should get a tat. And I was like, you know what? I'll start getting tats at places that I feel like I've never really been to or like, you know, just to kind of commemorate those places. So I got a tattoo there, um, but I got it like, literally three hours before my flight <laughs> so they kind of rushed it but this is what it said the uh two arrows pointing towards each other which means like live in the present if you guys if you guys have ever read Eckhart Tolle's book the power of now that book was just like very formative uh for me and just like about being present and living in this moment uh so yeah I got that tatted and also three of my friends Janice McCann and Brandon Little John we all got the same thing we all but we both we all got these two arrows tatted basically about living in the present. So yeah, it's dope. Uh, idea of faith, it just looks, it looks bad. I need to get it redone. Like it just, it looks rushed. It, it, it is what it is. I got bliss. So yeah, so faith, gratitude, bliss. And then I wanted to get love, but instead of love, I put Rhonda, which is my mom's name and a heart for the O um, because I lost my mom when I was young. So I love her to death. And uh, I just wanted to put that in there. And yeah, so I actually really love this tattoo even though it's my only tattoo, but I want to get some more, but I also like how clean my body is. Like, I like that I don't have tats. So, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so, somebody commented, but some of us can't afford to fail even once. We fail, we die. He said just to fail early, fail often, fail forward. If you have a comfortable pillow to fall upon, like support parents with good income, you get more chances of, uh, to experiment. You get more chances to fail. You get chances to try out of curiosity. That's privilege I don't have. Okay, so I decided to come in here to record this uh, probably because I'm um, getting hot and probably won't come inside anyway, but also just for sound. But what Will Smith was saying with that, you know, he's basically saying, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like uh, you were speaking about how, you know, you can't fail. Like, you don't have parents that can bail you out and that can, you know what I mean, let you take risks. Like, if you fail, you die. And same, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like my family, my family does okay for themselves, but once I decided that I was gonna be an artist and I wasn't gonna go for the lifestyle that they wanted for me, a corporate job, and something third. It very much so became like, well, you're on your own, you know, good luck with that. Um, because it's true, like I am taking a risk. I'm like, you know, going for something that they knew nothing about, I knew nothing about, we knew nothing about this business and entertainment and, and acting. Like these all these things all feel like just dreams. They don't feel like real things. So uh, I had to take a risk, I, and, but I knew within myself that I could figure things out, that I was a hard worker, that like, you know, if anybody could do it, then that meant I could probably do it too. Um, and it's just a matter of doing your research and figuring things out. So what Will Smith is saying, he's just like, you know, you gotta always shoot your shot, always go for it. And when it doesn't work out, like for instance, when I first met with agencies in New York, they all told me no. You know, so it's just like, and then eventually they just, they gave me a yes. But it's just like, you, so that's what he's saying. He's like, you gotta shoot your shot, you gotta try. He's like, as soon as you try, you know, then from there, you can learn the lessons from you failing. Like, okay, bet, that didn't work out. Like, damn, why do I think it was? You know, and then asking questions. Like, I, I ask those people like, okay, like, well, why didn't, you know what I mean? I get it, why weren't you into me? And you know, the, the people give you feedback. So it's just like, you need to learn you need to learn the lessons from failure when you need to go for it. Like if you like a girl or a guy, you know what I'm saying? Approach that person and like, if it doesn't work, figure out why. You know, you, you get you, you get clearer and clearer on how to actually succeed. So that's what he's saying. He's like, feel early, feel often, like feel forward. Like, you know, feel forward is like, once you fail, like you aren't even, your ego isn't so hit that you took an L. Like you're actually like, okay, bet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, 
that didn't work out, but I got the meeting or whatever, like, okay, bet, like I'm getting closer to figuring out how I'm actually going to succeed. And that's just what that means. Like, and Will Smith is fired for that. But also, so as far as, far as feeling like, you know, you don't have the, the room to fail because, you know, like if you, like you said, if you feel you die, you, you know, you, you don't have money, you don't have a way. It's just about planning, bro. You know, it's just about figuring out how to take care of yourself, how to provide for yourself, and then making room for something else. So it's just like, all right, bet. I want to try this, you know, on the side. So let me make sure, let me get a hustle. Let me get a side hustle that, you know, is going to take care of my expenses. And then from there, any free time that I have, I'm going to start working on my passion project, right? Like, bet. I'm going to start working on my passion project. And then from there, you know, uh, I, it's, it's, it's more and more, I can give more time to it, more time to it, I will. And then, then when that starts making money, dope. And when your passion project gets to a point where it surpasses your, you know, your survival job or whatever that, you know, you're making the same amount of money, that's when you can quit. You know what I'm saying? That's when you can quit and do what you actually want to do full time. And that's what I did. I was bartending like in New York. That was how I was like just figuring out how to just like make money and just survive in, in New York. Like, how can I just like live here? Cause it's not cheap, it's expensive. Rent is like a thousand dollars a month. Um, I was paying 1300 in Harlem for one, not even, yeah, one bedroom, for one bedroom. But I don't even know that you can get it for that anymore. But long story short, like you just need to hustle. You need to work hard. Like, this is what it is. Like if you don't have, you know, the, and it's true. You know, some, some people have privilege, some people have more money. And if you don't have that, then you got to work harder. But you know what? It's going to mean a lot more to you. It's going to mean so much more to you than it will to that next person that didn't have to do too much because daddy just called in a favor and got them an editorial or got, you know, got them signed with the big agency. Like, it's just not going to mean as much to them. You'll find that you're working way harder and it just means more. You're more passionate sometimes. Like, and you just, it's priceless. It's really priceless. Um, but yeah, you know, you just gonna have to work hard, bro. But trust me, you're gonna get it. You know, so like, like Will said, fail for it. Like, go for it, but just be smart, be tactful, figure out your plan. You know, make sure you you're good. You know, what I mean? make sure like you know you pay attention to your numbers. Like, just just stay on it. You know, go hard. Like, my stuff. Hey, I can't find your name, bro. But uh, I haven't made the lasagna. But in honor, I got lasagna today.